In order to assemble your cage, you will need the box of parts, a screwdriver, and pliers. This may be a two-person job, but by following these instructions, you should be able to assemble the cage within 45 minutes. Begin with the construction of the cage stand using the two cage base legs and holder bars. You will be using the eight shorter screws and nuts. Make sure both bars have the curved edge facing up to ensure that the cage doesn't fall off the stand. The back bar should be facing like this with the flat edge on the inside and the square side facing inward. The front bar should look like this with the flat edge on the outside and the square bar facing in. Once these bars are screwed in by hand, find the cage accessory shelf. You will be using the four larger screws and nuts to attach this piece. Simply lay the shelf flat onto the bottom cage base legs and screw it in by hand. You can now tighten all these screws and nuts on the cage stand with a screwdriver and pliers. Now that the stand is put together, you can leave it how it is or add wheels to make it mobile. Flip the stand over and push the four wheels into the bottom of the stand legs and your cage stand with the shelf is now complete. To begin cage assembly, start with the front and side panels. Make sure they're standing up with the gaps on the bottom and doors facing out. Notice that the side panels have screws already in place ready for use. Line the front panel up at a 90 degree angle with one of the side panels. Untwist the screws on the side panel, then screw them into the front panel. Do not tighten any of the screws, simply twist them in by hand until the assembly is complete. Continue this process with the other side panel and the back panel until your cage looks like this. All four panels screwed together and standing on their own. Make sure the back panel is standing in this direction with the small divider bar at the bottom. Next, you will be attaching the roof panel. Notice the screws already in place on top of the side panels. These will hold the roof in place. Untwist the screws, then slowly lower the roof panel onto the top of the cage. The roof should fit between the front and back panel, then can be screwed into the side panels. The cage should look like this, with all four side panels and the roof in place. Now you can insert the pullout tray into the very lowest gap, then slide in the bottom grate with the handle on top of the tray. Both the tray and the grate should slide in easily and fit at the bottom of the cage. Next, attach the locks onto the front doors with the eight flathead screws provided in the box. First, screw the flat part onto the cage, making sure the hardware is facing the correct way. Then loosely screw the lock system onto the door with the handle halfway turned. Repeat this with the other door, then tighten all the screws on the cage. Carefully lift up the cage and place it onto the stand. You can now install the shelves and ladder into the cage, however you like. This finishes the assembly of your cage. To maintain your cage, try Cage Clean, a hard-working yet gentle cage and accessory cleaner. Visit our website to see hundreds of cage accessories for your cage, like exercise wheels, feeding dishes, and climbing tunnels.